So we always get a lot of phones and iPads in that has charging issues. Maybe the phone does not charge fully or maybe the phone charges up to a certain percentage or the phone is stuck at 1% or the phone tablet are not recognized by the computer or maybe the phone or tablet are not recognized by iTunes. You plug it into iTunes and iTunes cannot see that you have a phone or tablet plugged in or sometimes you may have a red or blue screen on the phone or maybe error 9, error 4 or 13. A lot of times I find myself spending a lot of time diagnosing and troubleshooting the problem and at times I change the TriStar chip and when I do the problem is fixed but other times I change the TriStar chip and the problem is not fixed. So uh, I was thinking to myself we should have a TriStar tester, uh, a tester that we can just plug in the phone and it will tell us if the problem is the TriStar chip or not. If I know that the problem is the TriStar chip then I can go straight to the chip, I can replace it and the problem is solved. If it's not a TriStar chip, then I know that I should not be looking at the chip itself, but I should be looking at something else. We have this TriStar tester here, which is absolutely garbage. You can never tell if the TriStar chip is good or not. Uh, there's a lot of times where we change the chip because this one gave us a wrong reading and the problem was not the TriStar chip. So I was looking online for a TriStar tester because I know that this is going to make our job a lot easier trying to figure out if the problem is a TriStar chip or not a TriStar chip. And I came across the JC TriStar tester. I reached out to JC and asked for a sample. Sure enough, we got one. And JC also sent us a uh, maintenance tester cable. I'll go over this in another video. This TriStar tester is the latest and greatest that's available in the market now. And it looks something like this. Great packaging and great device. I tested this before I did the video and we're going to talk more about it. So the tester has a screen that will give you information about the serial number of the phone. It will give you information about the TriStar status and all that good stuff. It also came with a cable. One end of the cable is like an Ethernet cable and the other end is a lightning cable. So how do you use this? We plug this cable from the bottom here. We powered this device on by plugging a lightning cable from the top here. So I have a lightning cable charging an iPad right now. If I plug it on the top here, this device will turn on. The device is on now. Now if I want to test the phone, all I have to do is plug the cable in the phone and then the machine or the device is going to read and tell me if the TriStar chip is good or not. I was working on an iPhone 7 that came in a few days ago and this iPhone 7 is totally dead. There's absolutely no power, no signs of life at all. If we try to power it on, nothing comes on and if we plug a cable in the charging port, we do not see any amps being drawn by the phone. Here, let's, let's do this now. So I have the lightning cable plugged in and if you look at the amp meter, it's zero. Nothing being drawn at all. I thought maybe it's a charging port issue. I replaced the charging flex cable and that did not solve the problem. So I have a charged battery here. We're going to use it to see if that phone will power on. Battery is plugged in. And look at that. Phone powers on. So the phone does power on when you have a battery plugged in, but it's not charging. It doesn't charge. So I'm thinking to myself, is this a TriStar issue or is it something else? What if I could have a device that I can plug in to show me if the problem is from the TriStar chip or maybe elsewhere? Yeah. Just a moment. Hello, how are you? Hi, I'm good. I am whole. On a charged battery, the iPhone is working, but the iPhone does not charge. Even with the new battery that I have in, charging rate is zero the phone is not charging. The first thing that would come to mind is uh, the TriStar chip is probably not good, but I cannot verify this for sure. Maybe uh, I changed the TriStar chip and we still have the same problem. And that's why I was looking for a TriStar tester because a TriStar tester would make our job a lot easier. This will tell us if the TriStar chip is good or not. If it tells us that the TriStar chip is good, then we do not have to waste our time to change the TriStar chip. So I spoke to JC and I told him that we're going to test the sample. If we like it and we feel like the sample is effective, then we're going to partner up with you, with the JC company, and we're going to sell their products here in the US. Let's go ahead and test if the problem is from the TriStar chip. And I'm glad that we got this TriStar tester while we had this phone so we can see if the problem is from the TriStar chip or not. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn the phone off.
And one thing we have to note, the cable cannot be plugged in both ways. It must be plugged in uh, one way, like so. When I first got this in, I plugged it in, and the TriStar tester was not showing any information about the TriStar chip. I contacted JC, and they said to make sure that the cable is pointing up the right way. So let's plug this in. And we're going to turn the phone on. So the phone did turn on. And as you can see, what's displayed on the screen is the serial number of the phone. And we have two red markings on the TriStar chip. That means that the TriStar chip is bad. We should have OKs on all those lines. But we have uh, two reds on two of the lines. That means that the TriStar chip is bad. If you do not get OK on all those lines here, then your TriStar chip is bad. I like the fact that the serial number is displayed on top here because I can take a picture of this screen here with my phone and keep it in our records. So a customer comes in, we make an invoice for the customer, and I attach a picture of the findings on our system. So if the customer comes back in the future, I can look up what we did for the customer, and I can also see an image of what was done for the customer. I think that's a nice feature to be able to see the serial number of the phone. So being able to tell if the TriStar chip is good or bad is priceless in our business. I like the way JC build their products. This is very, very well made. The enclosure is not plastic. This is like a steel or aluminum hard casing. Even if you drop it, I don't think this is going to bend. But uh, very, very well made. Uh, the connectors, the buttons, look at the way they click. They are firm, solid. In short, I really love this TriStar tester. I mean, the build quality is unmatched, honestly. Very, very well built. Uh, it's very easy to look at the screen. The brightness is very good. Buttons are very solid. I do not see anything that's going to break anytime soon in the future. And what I love about this is it gives you the results in a matter of a second or two. So you plug this in the phone, you turn the phone on, and within a second, you get the results if the TriStar chip is good or not. Uh, let's do one more test on a good working phone to see what we get. So this is an iPhone 7 Plus. It's currently on. I do not know if we can use this machine while the phone is on, if it's going to give us any reading or not, or if the phone has to be off first and then we turn it on. So let's find out. The iPhone 7 Plus is currently on, and let's plug the cable. So we do not get any readings if the phone is already on. The phone must be turned off. So let me unplug, turn the phone off. And now we're going to plug the cable in. And we're going to turn the phone on. And look at that. It gave us the readings. Everything is reading good on this phone. And the phone is in the FU mode. Really love this device. Really love how easy it is to use this device. And it's going to save us a lot of time and a lot of hassle in the future from knowing if the problem is the TriStar or not. Now, I told JC when we initially uh, asked for this sample, I told them if we like it, if we like the way this device works and we feel like it's effective, we're going to carry it in our web store, on our website. Now that I've been working with this device for the past couple of days, I really love it. I contacted JC and I told them that we want to partner up and we want to carry their product on our website. And we have a shipment coming in. Uh, it's going to take about a week or two. Uh, here's what I want to do. The first 30 people that order this from our website, we're going to give it for $229. After the 30 orders, it's going to be priced at $249. $249 is still a lot cheaper than what you would buy this if you were to buy it from Asia, considering that you still have to pay for the shipping and for the PayPal fees or for whatever things that international companies charge. So the price is going to be unmatched, $249 regular price, or $229 for the first 30 orders that we get in. So that's it for this video. Leave a comment if you have any questions. I will post a link to this, to where to buy this device on our website. And I'll see you in the next video.